Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you do enjoy it. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you notify for whenever I release a new video. That is all. Wow, hello and welcome to today's video. Hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. And in today's video, we're going to be creating some hopefully awesome looking photographs using this thing right here a fog machine my idea and my plan is to fill this room with tons of fog using this and then just take some awesome looking portraits i don't think we need any more of an intro to today's video so without any further delay let's just jump in and start with today's video Whoa! Right, so we are ready to start introducing fog into the set. And here we go. All I gotta do is press the green button. How eerie is this looking? This is pretty awesome right now. I generally thought, coming into this, I'd be like, all right, I'll get some gimmicky, some kind of like okay shot, and that'll be about it. But no, coming into this so far, I'm really happy. So I've had the light set up right here as a backlight. So I'm standing light, literally like this, in front of the light. So you're seeing like the outline of me, but that is it. But it's a really effective and cool shot. Now, to edit this photograph, is it didn't take much. It was literally just put a preset on there, bring up some of those black levels a little bit more, change around some of the uh, man a change of the highlights and the shadows bing ba bada bum and it's done but we're gonna now move it to the next level where can we take this next well i've got an idea for that including these two things two things right here item right, number one is this me and my red coats literally i just wear red coats all the time item right, number two remove the hats and apply a mask on a mask on and put the hood up. And then what we're going to do is create some pretty cool, like, portrait shots using the mask. Now, in terms of this mask as well, this is just off eBay. You can buy this for, like, £6. Again, links in the description. But if you're anywhere else, this will just be in the UK. So I think what we should do is just start jumping straight in and seeing what photos we can get using this mask and this coat. Let's go. So we've been doing some more photography and with this mask, with this coat, with all this setup, it just works perfectly. I spotted one of the photographs whilst looking through my results and I was like, that is it. That is the photograph and I don't think we'll get any better on this shoot with that. The thing is, this isn't the most complicated setup. I mean, realistically, all it is right here is a black background, one light, a fog machine, a mask, and that is it. And as well, you might not even need all of those things. Say, for example, you have a darker toned room, maybe even a garage. If you just fill it with smoke, have your mask on, you might get some really eerie and creepy shots. And it might actually help having some background interest with like tools and everything like that. So definitely see what you can do. But what we're going to quickly do right now is I really want to get to seeing this photograph. So I need to tidy all this up, get my room back to normal, and then we can start with viewing, editing, and seeing the final results we got. So, let's begin. This is like one of those problems when you are filming. Everything has to come out for a certain photography area, and it just makes a huge mess. Right, 
so you join me in a nice tidy room and we can now start going through the photographs that I have edited. Now I think these photographs came out really good. They look awesome and we're just going to jump in and start with the first photograph which is this one right here. With every photograph I took I kind of made similar changes to the editing. A lot of the settings were copy and pasted from image to image. So starting from this one I added a preset and it brought up the black levels quite a bit which was a level that I was really happy with. I wanted to continue that kind of look because it, I like the look it was giving to my photographs. I then made some changes to the highlights because with some photographs you can actually see the light in the background so if I turn them up to 100 it kind of just makes that disappear but still you know where the light source is. I then made some further changes to the colours primarily the blues and the reds to bring out the coat and to bring out the mask and this was the final photograph and I'm really happy with this photograph. Now something I get asked quite a bit when I'm doing my photography is how do I focus the camera when I'm doing self portraits? Well sometimes I use autofocus which sometimes work sometimes doesn't but an alternative that works probably like 98% of the time is manual focus so for example when I was shooting this I had my D7500 set up on a tripod in the background and all I did was I brought that in front of where I would be standing focused the camera on it removed the object stood where the object was and then I'd know that the focus would be on me it's a really quick and simple turnaround and from this you'll get a focus swiftly and effectively so the second image I did was exactly the same as the first, the only difference was the crop. I made this a landscape crop because I liked the photograph and had an idea to merge two photographs together. So I grabbed another photograph which showed half the mask in and then I just used the lasso tool in Photoshop once I dropped them both in, removed the background layer and then I got this final photograph where both photographs are merged together. I really like how this final photograph looks, how one of them's like looking over the shoulder and the other one's like looking straight at the audience, like grabbing your attention like like look at us but as well is it just me or does that second one remind me of the joker the one that's looking behind his shoulder and that might be just be me but I think it looks similar or Joker-esque but it's pretty awesome I'm really happy with the second result. Now something else you can also do to control the fog is waft it so basically grab an object and just waft it around your scene. Now this becomes a lot more helpful when you are doing filmmaking of some sort because you don't want it to completely just demolish your scene and just be to a state that you can't even see your actors or anyone on screen so the best way is to waft it around the scene so it's nice and soft and then you'll get a lot more effect and professional look from it and it will actually look very reminiscent of how a haze machine would look. Now for the final photograph I wanted to play around with some gradient tools and make one side of the image and one half of the image warm and the other half cool. So basically I threw it in Lightroom, applied exactly the same colour settings as all the other photographs but just then added two gradient mask tools to one half of the image so one half came out warm, one half came out cool and I think it gave like a really cool looking effect. I do like how this image does look. So these were three of the favourite photographs that I took during this. There was a lot of awesome photographs and there is some more on Instagram so if you want to go and see the rest of them my Instagram handle is right here and I'll be really interested about to find out which photograph was your favorite so please let me know in the comment section below and if you feel real dangerous you could probably do it on Instagram and YouTube as well and if you also try this photography at home use the hashtag CP photos and I'll be really interested to see what results you get and speaking of the hashtag we're gonna go through a few more before we end today's video and see what photos you have been capturing starting off with the hashtag Hashtag, we've got the first photograph that I spotted was by Photography is for Nerds. It's a great username and Photography is for Nerd. I don't know if I class as a nerd. I probably am a nerd. Can you even say nerd anymore? Is that one of those terms that you can't say anymore? But anyway, your photograph right here is absolutely awesome. I do really like this photograph. You've taken the chessboard concept to a new level. You've been able to get some really cool results from it. I love the Boek, the depth of field you've got on those chess pieces in the background behind. I really do like the colours as well, it's very unique colour palette that you've chosen for this photograph but I think it really stands out and you captured it really nicely. So great work photography for nerds and keep it up. So our next and final photograph for today is by Specific Exposure and this was taken in Westport Island and wow that is a beautiful place i love everything about the shot the composition is perfect i like the way that you've got some foreground interest first that you're like kind of like peeking in to see this beautiful lake it is a beautiful photograph i really like everything you've got some nice reflections on there i also like what you have done with the colors on this image now sometimes this works on certain photos sometimes it doesn't but i feel like you've encapsulate that perfectly and it is a perfect photograph i love everything about it 
this is fantastic. I really want to get myself to Ireland. I've had a number of people saying you should go because it is beautiful and this photograph just shows some of the beauty of Ireland. Fantastic work, specific exposure. Keep it up and thank you for using the hashtag. And that has been today's video. I've really enjoyed making this video and getting these awesome photographs and hopefully you have enjoyed watching today's video. And until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha!